All right, so Coachella has released their lineup. This is pretty huge for one because Frank Ocean is headlining, which I honestly did not think that was going to happen, but here it is. Um, I don't know if you saw the reel I did. Uh, it was on Sunday, but I did a prediction of who I thought was going to be headlining, and I did this just based on looking at different Reddit forums um, and kind of called all three of these, Bad Bunny, Black Pink, and Frank Ocean. But again, I did not think Frank Ocean was going to be in there. I don't know if this says whether or not Frank Ocean is going to release an album. I don't think this says that. I could totally see him just doing his old material. Blonde still feels super relevant. He has those singles he did back in 2020. I mean, maybe we'll get a couple new songs, but I don't know. I can only pray that he's going to be doing a whole album by April 16th. I think it's a little wishful thinking, but you never know. But yeah, this lineup pretty good. I was just going to go through some of the artists that I'm excited about. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be going. I've been a ton of years to Coachella because I used to live in Los Angeles, and I haven't been back since 2019, and I think with Frank Ocean, it's going to be absolutely insane. Um, But yeah, so Bad Bunny didn't really like his newest album, to be honest. I know it's like the album of the year, and it was the album of the summer, but I don't know. It wasn't really my thing. I did really like the album, I forget what it was called, Y-H-L-Q-M-D-L-G. I'm not really sure what that means, but pretty good album. But yeah, that'll be a fun set for sure. K Trinata, I was gonna see him here in Brooklyn, but the tickets were like $200. Metro Boomin also, I'm a little surprised at how high he is up here. Like he's in front of Pusha T, Yev's Tumor, which I wouldn't think he would be. But yeah, that'll be cool because I think he's probably just going to bring out like ASAP Rocky, probably Future, probably some other people that were featured on his recent album. Also, I'm seeing here Idris Elba. I think that's probably a play on the actor. I don't know who this is, though, but I would assume it's not the actor. Also surprised at how low Saba is down here. People else who are on Friday, TV Girl, really like them. Yev's Tumor, Pusha T. I feel like he's one of the few rap artists who can really deliver like a rap performance because his lyrics are just just like straight at you i think a lot of people rappers a lot of times their concerts fall a little short but i think push a t i think this is his second year doing coachella i think he did it like three years ago or so all right then moving on to saturday we have black pink headlining who honestly before i did that reel i did not know who they were but apparently they're huge and then we got rosalia who i assume will be going on at the same time as Blackpink. Love Rosalia. She came out to um, J Balvin a few years ago. That was really fun. It was like, I think Bad Bunny came out too. Honestly, I could see Bad Bunny coming out for Rosalia's set here. Honestly, Remy Wolf, I see on here. That's awesome that she is at Coachella. I want to get more into her. I just need to listen to more stuff. Young Lean, Muramasa. Maybe he'll bring out ASAP Rocky if he's already going to be there for Metro Boomins on Friday. Mark Rebier, that'll be a fun, like, comedy show and also just musical show, so looking forward to that one. Oh, shit, Kenny Beats, I did not see him on here originally. That's funny. Man, I don't even know who he'd bring out. I actually saw him do this concert in Central Park, and it was him. It was right when he released his that album he did this year, and then he also brought out Slow Tie, who was, like, super drunk, and I think he got carried off stage or something. And uh, Isaiah Rashad, who also was very drunk, but he finished the set. And um, who was, oh, it was Tizo Touchdown, but I missed him. I'm honestly surprised he's not on here, unless he is on here and I missed it. Earth Gang, again, someone who I'm surprised at how low they are down here. Uh, Bakar, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Feel free to shit on me in the comments. The other people here, AG Club, again, I'm surprised at how low they are. I don't know them a ton, but I would think they would at least be a couple rows up just because... I know that they have some hits, and I feel like these lower artists are kind of just, like, coming onto the scene, which I guess they am, they are. And then Sunday, which I haven't done, like, a huge look into this, but I feel like Sunday is the best day, and I feel like usually they do Sunday as, like, the best day at Coachella, but the god himself, Frank Ocean, is going to be headlining. Again, I don't know if this means he's going to be dropping a new album, or if he's just going to be performing Blonde and Channel Orange, but... Who knows? I mean, I didn't. I did that video on Frank Ocean and Travis Scott uh, releasing new albums in 2023. Which honestly, Travis Scott, I definitely 
like, I'm very confident he's releasing an album by, like, April. But Frank Ocean, I was, I mean, I in that video I say he's headlining Coachella. And even at that time, I knew Paul Tollett, the co-founder of Coachella, was saying that he was going to be headlining. But that was back in 2021 he said that. So I'm kind of surprised that they also followed through with this and got Frank Ocean. Yeah, so aside from Frank Ocean, though, Bjork is on there. I know some of her stuff. I need to listen to more. Kelly Uchis, again, kind of surprised at how high she is. I think she does have, like, a ton of fans. I remember I saw Tyler the Creator and Vince Staples and Kelly Uchis open for him in Seattle. There were so many girls that were into Kelly Uchis, and they were loving it, and I was honestly, like, kind of blown away with how many fans she had, which, honestly dope because she makes good music and we got dominic fike who i feel like hasn't released anything in forever jai paul who i was in the frank ocean subreddit and people were like obsessed that jai paul's going i don't really listen to his stuff um but apparently he like he's kind of like a frank ocean who rarely will make performances and i don't think has released an album in like years so i think that was also like a huge thing to see for people or maybe it was jai wolf because <laughs> now i'm seeing jai wolf down here i, th I think it was jai paul though I don't know. Are they related? I have no idea. Ray Schremer. I feel like they haven't really done anything recently, but you know, Shrem Life. Alex G really liked his last album. I feel like he'll have a really like chill set. It'll be kind of like a Mac DeMarco type of vibe. Oh, Fushi. Again, probably not pronouncing that right. Go ahead, roast me. But she's in here, which honestly her features on, uh, I think she was featured on like Vince Staples project. And then also her feature on Steve Lacey's project was very good so and then no name kind of surprised at how low she is idk i'm also pretty surprised at how low he is peter born and yeah i think that's about it here oh and then calvin harris i don't really even know what that means returning to the desert calvin harris takeaway frank ocean is headlining which is huge don't know if this means a new album Will he even follow through? Who knows? Is he going to pull a Kanye and back out at the last minute? Maybe, potentially, I don't know. And who's going to replace him? Will it be Drake? Which would be hilarious because he's probably going to get booed off stage again. You never know. But hopefully there's a new album. You can only hope.